It's, it's time, time for a BC road trip. We took a week-long journey from Vancouver to the interior of British Columbia. Staying at different Northland properties like Sandman Hotels and the Sutton Place, we had the perfect Canada road trip supporting this family-owned Canadian chain that can be found in 57 properties across the country. We have arrived in Vancouver and we're starting our road trip here at the Sandman Suites Hotel on Davy Street, right downtown. And we've got the penthouse suite. And let me tell you, what a room and what a view. With convenient locations, they made for the perfect base as we had adventures from the Columbia Mountains to the Okanagan Valley. These are the things to see and do from Vancouver to Revelstoke. Good morning from Vancouver, BC. Today we start our road trip. We're heading up to Grouse Mountain and then we're heading into the interior. There are a lot of things to do on Grouse Mountain. It's more than just hiking. There's a lumberjack show, there's the canopy walk and zip lines, there's a restaurant, and there are some grizzlies up here as well. Grouse Mountain is home to two grizzly bears that were rescued as cubs. Grinder and Kula were found orphaned in the wilds of BC in 2001. Thanks to a local vet who nursed them back to health, Grouse Mountain dedicated five and a half acres to the cubs as a wildlife refuge, where visitors can watch them play and relax in their natural habitat. You have Grinder, you have Kula, and the polar bear, they're huge. <laughs> All right, we're here with mountain zip lines on Grouse Mountain, and we are going to do some zip lining with Colin Braden. Woohoo! Okay, we're at the top, and it is a big cloud. This is going to be cool. Grouse Mountain Zipline is a five-line double-track circuit taking you over canyons and old-growth forests at speeds of up to 80 kilometers per hour. All right, All right this is a faster one. This is the fastest Oops. one today. The fastest one today? Ah, oh, right scared! Right okay, I'm not, but it's gonna be fun! A countdown, one, I knew it! Ah. <laughs> That was fun. It actually made my eyes water. It was going so fast. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, zip lining here on Grouse Mountain was really awesome. It really is. You get to do five different zip lines and it's gradual. So they're not throwing you on the big, long, fast ones right off the bat. Yeah, and doing it in the fog. If you come during bad weather, do not let that stop you from going because it's really a lot of fun to just go into the abyss and like fly and soar through the clouds. So if you come here to Vancouver, make sure to make your way up here to Grouse Mountain. Try out the zip line, do some hiking. There's lots of things to do up here. We've had a blast. We've arrived at the Sandman Hotel here in Kelowna. And out of the two hotels we've stayed at so far, I must say we get the best views in the city. We're overlooking the lake and the mountains. It's absolutely beautiful. We're up here on the 10th floor. so. Wow. The Sandman Hotel and Suites Kelowna has spacious rooms with full kitchen, indoor pool and hot tub, a Denny's restaurant on site and free parking, making it a great home base for exploring the best things to do in Kelowna.
All right, we're heading out to the Mira Canyon Trail, which is about 30 minutes outside of Kelowna. You got about eight kilometers on a pretty rough dirt road, but it's a great place to go cycling. You can also go hiking there. That's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna check out the Mira Canyon Trestle. One of the top things to do in Kelowna is to make your way out to the Mira Provincial Park on the Trestle Trail. You can cycle this or you can hike it. It is a system of old railway bridges, so it's very beautiful. Uh, make your way to the Mirror Station parking lot and you can rent bikes here, and then you can head out on the trail and do the 24, 24 kilometer trail if you wanna do the whole thing to see all of the trestles. Well, this really is a beautiful hike. And uh, if you have time to rent a bike, I would do that as well. You can see all the trestles all around the canyon and what a fun ride it would be to just go along here. But hiking is great too. It took us 12 minutes to get to the first trestle and the next one is just six minutes away. And we are actually seeing all kinds of them right from this vantage point. This is definitely a great hike. It's a wide trail. There's uh, not any elevation gain and the scenery is pretty amazing. So do it if you come out here to BC. This tunnel is massive. I can't believe that they blasted right through this rocks in like 1912, 1913. And it goes on, it's quite incredible to see. Kelowna has a beautiful waterfront here and the best thing you can do is just hang out down on the walkway that follows the whole lake. You can come to City Park, the downtown is really nice, there's waterfront park, and uh, you can get out on the lake and do some tours as well. We are definitely in wine country here in the Okanagan and you must go on a wine tour when you're here in Kelowna. The Okanagan Valley is one of Canada's premier wine regions and with over 40 vineyards around Kelowna, there is no shortage of wineries to explore. You can take a tour or do a self-drive, but whatever you do, make sure you pick up a bottle to enjoy once you get back to your hotel at night. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Revelstoke. We are at the Sutton Place here in Revelstoke, British Columbia, and what an amazing destination this is. It's this whole complex. It's like the village right on the mountain. It's a ski in, ski out resort, but naturally, we are here in summertime, and uh, we're gonna do some mountain biking and some karting, and we're gonna run around and do some crazy adventures for the time that we're here. So it's not just a winter destination, it's a great year-round destination too. Cheers. I really love having this suite at Sutton Place because we have a full kitchen, we have a dishwasher, we even have a washing machine. So if we feel like doing our laundry while we're here, awesome. The Sutton Place Revelstoke is located directly on the ski hill with views overlooking the gondola. Each room has a kitchen regardless of the size and there is a beautiful outdoor pool with hot tubs and gymnasium. The Rockford restaurant is great for lunch and dinner and La Baguette is perfect for morning coffee. There is a bar, liquor store and shops in the Apre Ski Zone. It's an all-in-one vacation destination. We are doing our first activity here at Revelstoke and we're doing some downhill mountain biking. I'm ready. I got my knee pads on. I got my elbow pads on under my coat here. When I get going, oh, I'm ready, baby. All right, hanging up the gondola to start our mountain biking adventure. Here in Revelstoke, let's go. All right, we're in the gondola heading up. The skies have cleared a little bit. Um, it's pretty cool getting in the, whoa, in the gondola with your bike. A um, little bit difficult, but uh, I think we got it nailed down. This is awesome. The sun is shining and we are gonna start doing our mountain biking down the mountain. Look at the view.
I am so glad that we did this a second time because we got the berms down. Now it's just kind of flowing downhill. This is so awesome. You got to do the mountain biking when you come to Revelstoke. I'm having a blast. Don't miss downhill mountain biking in Revelstoke. We had a play all day pass plus the mountain bike add-on. It was just enough time to ride the trail twice before heading off to the other activities. Now the pass includes access to the gondola and slopes as well as other awesome mountain activities like these. You gotta love these play all day passes. It's pipe coaster time. Time to get some speed here in Revelstoke. All right guys, come on in, come on, come forward. We're good to go? That's nice and easy, right on. Yeah, Off it. we go. And you stop right here. <laughs> insane. You can go so You can throw anything at me. I'm gonna make it work. I do, I rock. And you're very humble. Yeah. Hey! hey. It wasn't a bullseye, nice but job. I made it. I'll take it, I'll take it! <laughs> Woo, and the hat, the hat. Woo. It's the hat trick. In the summertime, you can take the gondola to the top here at Revelstoke for some great views of uh, the glacier and of Revelstoke, uh, Revelstoke itself. There's some hiking trails up here. Uh, you can do your mountain biking up here. It's uh, really great to just get out in nature and relax and enjoy the peace and quiet. What a view. All right, we are at Revelstoke with Great Canadian Sports and uh, we are going out on an ATV tour. Dave's in the driver's seat. Woohoo! Yeah. The scenery is so beautiful on this ATV ride. Probably the most beautiful you'll ever see on an ATV ride gorgeous sunrise coming up behind me with the mountains. Well, that was fun. We did a little more technical climb to get up here. Dave did awesome. He's having a blast. And what a view. This is really cool how, how much altitude you gain on this tour. Wow, isn't this incredible? This is a really awesome ATV tour that takes you to all these out of the way places. Nobody gets up here this high to see this spectacular view of the mountains overlooking the lake. Wow, if you come to Revelstoke, make sure you do this because it's a really great way to explore the scenery and get off the beaten path. And that was ATVing in Revelstoke.
Kamloops is another great choice to stop on a BC road trip because it's located between Vancouver and Revelstoke. The Sandman Signature Hotel is located within walking distance to everything and is just across the street from the beach. It has a full kitchen, swimming pool and hot tub, and two restaurants connected to the property, making it an ideal stay when driving through the province. A road trip through the interior of British Columbia is one of the great drives in Canada. With a diverse landscape of mountains, valleys, forests and lakes, it really has something for everyone. Staying at Sandman Hotels and the Sutton Place offers options for every budget level and with so many locations you can choose whichever route you'd like to go. If you enjoyed our road trip through BC, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for reminders because we put up new travel videos every week.